Howdy y'all, Andy McCabe here with Claims Delegates. I had a question or a client with a question about how to get his uh, ESX files data transferred into his Xactimate. Um, and while I don't know a whole lot about Xactimate Mobile, I do know the difference between Xactimate Online and Xactimate Desktop. So I'm going to show you how to get information if you own a professional version of Xactimate like I do, how to get information from your desktop version to your online version. And it's relatively simple. You just got to know what you're looking at. So here's your control panel. Hope you guys can recognize that. Uh, and I'm going to go over here to projects. What you're going to see over here, it says show all. You want to make sure you do show all because when you're Sometimes it comes up as show current user, and it doesn't give you every single estimate that you've you've done or have in your system. It just gives you your user. I don't know why they have that. Anyway, show all, but you look up here. You see local and cloud. Right here, here's a list of projects that are in my cloud, my, my, my online version of Xactimate. So I have someone who writes for me. Uh, she uses the online version while I simultaneously use the desktop version and it works out. So here's, if I want this, this file in my desktop version so I can manipulate it here, I'm just going to come here, retrieve from cloud. Boom, there it is. Don't need to save the log. Gazal, gaz. Gazalian. All right, let's go back to local. We should be able to find it. G H A Z. There it is. Boom. And I can open it. Hopefully. Uh, whatever. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Really. Just open. Open. There it is. So. Here we go. We're there. That was an easy one. Not much to that one. Hmm. Uh, okay, so how do we get that back? Um, I can do this of two two different ways. Uh, I can data transfer it to myself, which I've done. So I'm gonna go here to data transfer. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Exact analysis. Send data. So I know my exact net address for here locally and I know the exact net address of my remote version so if I go claims Portland OR that will send it to my online version and here it is when well, there's the estimate we were just talking about but I want to make sure you guys know to click this button to show all just to make sure you see it all okay so G H A Z Okay, there it is. Now if I want to send a price list at the same time to myself, I can come down here and click a custom price list if I'm using one. If I want to send a header, and this other information, you can attach this. You can attach this stuff to this data transfer. So, but for now, let's just keep on that project. It's selected. You can see that already. We've got a one right there. And I'm going to hit send. And here, after you hit send, you have to hit connect. Uh, I need more coffee this morning. That's it. So theoretically, this should show up back in my project list. Let's refresh this. Cloud. It's checked out. So, what's gonna, what needs to happen? Uh, she needs to go into her desktop or her online version, come back to the control panel, and hit connect. I'm not gonna do that right now because I think she might be using it. So, I don't want to kick her off. Um, that's it. That's as simple as it is. Simple as it gets. So, if you're running two versions, uh, maybe you're dispatched to South Carolina, North Carolina right now, and you're running your your mobile version or your online version, not to be confused with the mobile version. You've got a whole bunch of data 
you want back at your desktop, you can come here. Let's clear this out. You can also select one of these. Let's select one of these and I can come over here and it says send to cloud. So you can send these back and forth to yourself. Instead of the data transfer that I just showed you, you can do it by hand. You can do it automatically. Let's see if it's going to mess up this file. If I just send it to the cloud right now. Transfer complete. Look at that. Boom. Okay. And then it should show up. Look at that. And refreshed it. So, boom. Kazinga and all that good stuff. Hope you guys have a great Sunday. Bless you all. And uh, let me know if you have any questions on this. This is how to get your files, your ESX files, from your desktop version to your online version without having to export. I didn't export anything, right? I didn't drag anything to my desktop or job folder and email it. Uh, it just gets messy. It's very important if you're doing program work and you're getting program assignments that you do all your transfers inside of Xactimate. Do you use, a, do you use a data transfer function? Because if you don't, if you export a, an assignment you try to import that same assignment it's going to it, the permissions the the um, chain of custody is broken and exactware will not recognize that file as the assignment file any longer so that's why if some of you guys are having trouble with that that's why that's happening you need to transfer it internally using exactware address or exact net addresses or do this data transfer function i just showed you all right see y'all